Crashers. So hi, I'm Emily. I'm the team lead for the Gun High School Med Team, and we're building a solar-powered egg incubator for developing nations. I'm Victoria, and I work on the incubator and the egg rotator. I'm Samir. I worked on the incubator and the egg rotator as well. So can you guys first tell me how did you come up with the idea for egg incubator, and how does it help? So one thing that we were thinking about is how can we help uh, people in underdeveloped countries in the, in the way that we have a lot of food waste over here and in a lot of areas there are a lot of food deficiency. So we were thinking uh, through our research we found out that the egg has a lot of protein. It has a lot of nutrients that are very vital. So we thought let's find a way to give the egg to other countries. But another thing that we also found out is a lot of times these underdeveloped areas we get were very reliant on these handouts. So we wanted to give away a way, a means to make these underdeveloped countries self-sufficient. We had a little saying in the beginning that we came up with, where if you give an egg to a man for a day, he will eat for a day. But if you give a man a solar-powered incubator, he will eat for a lifetime. So uh, can you tell me about one challenge that you guys had on the team? One challenge that we had was probably uh, just coming up together and building the whole thing together. Because we worked at, we worked with different, we had a, everyone had a different role. And it was kind of difficult sometimes to come together and build the whole thing. But at the end, we had a lot of prototypes, and then we finally came together and put everything together, and it works. Now, something that was very interesting was that some people have skills in uh, design, some people have skills in computer programming, some people are very good builders, and it was really neat to see how uh, all these people with these different talents and skills and strengths and weaknesses could come together, cover each other's weaknesses, and create a better product. Yeah, and also we were a student-run team, so we had to learn ourselves like how, um, how to do microcontroller programming and how to build all of this, and also how to design an effective project, so we learned definitely a lot along the event team process. Guys, I know this may be a second time you're at this, <laughs> um, but tell me about the first day that you got the grant. How'd you feel? Okay, yeah, so I remember the first day when um, I was at home and the teacher emailed us and said, guys, we got the grant, and I was just so excited, and I remember I just like jumped up and down, I was like leaping, I telephoned all the other kids, and it was just such an exciting moment for us. I was actually one of the last people to find out. I was just minding my own business, walking from one of my classes to another one of my classes. And Victoria looks at me and she's elated and we kind of make eye contact. And then she's just like screaming or jumping up and down. I kind of really like, what's wrong? Are you okay? You come up and then she tells me, you got the grant. And we were both just jumping up and down screaming because we were so elated to have this opportunity. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, we heard the news, but we didn't know it was true until the, our teachers emailed me. So we kind of kept it a secret until it was officially on the website. So we. But it didn't work out. We couldn't keep it a secret. Yeah, but Everyone we, knew before it even was on the website. Yeah, it was like so amazing that we were able to get this opportunity in the first place. Like most high schoolers, most high schoolers aren't able to get a chance to have their own idea turn into an actual invention project, um, or get a grant to even build their idea. So that was definitely so cool. So once you got the grant, how'd you come up with a name for your invention? This is, this is more when we were looking at looking at the ideas for our, our, our invention. So we came up with a solar powered incubator. We were kind of looking at the design, what could it look like, and eventually one person came up and said, guys, we can call it the Cluck Bucket. And then all of us instantly said, yes, that is the name we're going to use. <laughs> that is the best name possible. And then Emily, I don't know, at first, at first she didn't really like the name, and I think it was mainly because of that. We were like, okay, we have to do it then. And I guess, I guess now we, it's a name that we really like and we really cherish, the Cluck Bucket. It was kind of like a fun name. Uh, it kind of represents how jovial we are about the design process and about uh, you know what we do and how we work. Everybody has to give me an answer. What is the one word you're going to use to describe this experience? Oh, um, so I guess one word I would use to describe this experience is empowering. Um, we've definitely learned so much about, like, I guess the potential, even the potential of high schoolers to um, take our own ideas and help, like, whether it's developing nations or other students. So we really have the potential to make a difference in our world. I would say inspiring because. I never thought about engineering in this way. I've never tried any, I never had hands-on experience on building something. And it definitely inspired me. Like, now I know that I want to build something. Now I know what I want to do engineering. So it was definitely inspiring. I would just say downright awesome. I mean, almost every step of the way, we were hit with all these challenges and overcoming each one of these. Every time we hit a setback, was just a huge learning opportunity for us. And in so many different ways, we got to learn how to work with each other. We got to learn how to acquire new skills. So just downright awesome. It's amazing. Thank you so much.
so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.